Hello, thank you for listening. This is the near-death experience of Chrissy, and this event occurred on June 3rd, 1991. Open quote. I simply went for a cesarean section. It was an emergency because the baby had no amniotic fluid in the sack, and he was going to be three months premature. I was not too concerned, as I had had a cesarean birth 11 years earlier. During the operation, they discovered something called placenta previa and could not stem the bleeding. I had to have 65 units of blood to replace the continual flow. The machines would not pump fast enough, so they got a nurse and other people to pump. Apparently, they felt there was no hope. I was in the intensive care unit for five days when I suddenly woke. To me, there was no time. I had the most beautiful experience, which can never be described in words. I had moved across fields and under oceans where I could breathe, then sped through a tunnel-like form, spiraling upwards 45 degrees. Then there it was, the brightest light, or brighter than you can even imagine, like an aura all round. There was a then sense of spiritual being at all at peace, all as one. I spoke without really speaking, like knowing what people thought to an old auntie who had died. I said to everyone through my thoughts, I'm home at last, three exclamation marks, all caps. I was so happy. It was such a pure relief. Just as I was about to settle in being home again, there came this calm, steady, male-like voice, which said, quote, you must go back. You have more lessons to teach. There I was, back in my body. I opened my eyes, and I heard people say, She's awake! I really felt a little disappointed, but I knew it was all part of the deal. I saw my mother first and knew something must have happened because I went in that Monday morning for surgery and spoke to her 3,000 miles away, so she could not get there in that short a time. But by now, it was Saturday, and I had been on life support since. Long after, I still recall with clarity the exact view, feel, and words spoken to me. I mean exact. Never a different context, even when people say, Are you sure? He didn't say, You have more lessons to learn? which may make sense to people, but when you have been there, you then know and come back with responsibility. After 20 years, I continue this to sort out responsibility working in a remote indigenous community on a small tropical island north of Australia. End quote. Wow. More lessons to teach. I like that. There are some questions here. At the time of your experience, question, was there an associated life-threatening event? Answer, yes, surgery-related, childbirth, other. Was connected to a life support system in ICU after childbirth? Told they could not stem bleeding and the machines could not keep up with the blood supply. Doctor said later that there was no medical reason why I was alive. But I was unaware. I had bled to death during an emergency cesarean. <clears throat> Question, comparing your consciousness, answer, when I was in the bright light, I was more conscious and alert. Question, did time seem to speed up or slow down, answer, no space or defined dimension, no gravity, no time of any sense on earth. Question, were your senses more vivid than usual, answer, incredibly more vivid. Comparing your vision, answer, everything was totally defined clear, vivid, and the whiteness was still able to be seen without any strain or concern for harming my eyes. Comparing your hearing, answer, there weren't really any sort of sounds, but you could still communicate. There was more of a knowing except for the voice that told me you must go back. Question, did you pass through into or through a tunnel? 
answer yes very quickly spiraled through at an angle about 45 degrees. <clears throat> Question. Did you encounter or become aware of any deceased or alive beings? A answer. Yes, an auntie was present to my left, but I was aware of everyone and saying I'm home at last, like I could not take a smile off my face slash spirit. They were welcoming, but the voice came, almost spoiled the party. You must go back. There was no questioning the voice. It was known that this was to be followed like a destiny. Question, did you see an unearthly light? Answer, yes, it was all light everywhere, brighter than the sun. You became part of it. Everyone was all together as a part of it. Question, did you seem to enter some other unearthly world answer just this <clears throat> dimension of total peace love and light <clears throat> excuse me question what emotions did you feel during the experience answer total peace joy relief happiness beyond any earthly words question did you have a feeling of peace or pleasantness answer incredible peace Incredible joy. I felt united or one with the world. Question, did scenes from your past come back to you? Yeah, answer, yes. Never fear death. Don't consider suicide as you muck up the plan. Don't worry about acquiring material goods. They are, well, immaterial. Be kind to everyone. We are all one. Somehow, somewhere, in the, be in the end or beginning. Question, did scenes from the future come to you? Answer, yes, scenes from the world's future. Question, what was your religion prior to your experience? Answer, liberal belief in the golden rule karma type. Question, have your religious practices changed since your experience answer yes probably even more believing in the one spirit like being slash god but we are all part of him people should all read the book conversations with god for a better better explanation question what is your religion now answer liberal there is one overall power slash director slash non-judgmental question did you have a change in your values and beliefs because of your experience? Answer, yes. Probably even more believing in the one, all caps, spiritual, like being slash God. But we are all part of him. Question, did you seem to encounter a mystical being or presence or hear an unidentifiable voice? Answer, I encountered a definite being of mystical or unearthly origin. Question, did your experience, did you gain special knowledge or information about your purpose? Answer, yes, I have already described this above, all as one. We need to learn or teach while we are in body form. Question, have your relationships changed specifically because of your experience? Answer, yes. I don't really have any intimate relations anymore. Just everyone is a human with purpose only known to them. We cross paths. We keep aiming for peace and happiness. And eventually we leave here. Almost robotic like. I still look forward to returning. But not like I'm depressed and want to die. I just don't mind if I do. Question. Was the experience difficult to express in words? Answer. Yes, it is hard to describe the intensity of the light, yet not needing to squint or wear sunglasses, you are just part of the light. Also, there are beings, like a sense of beings, but they are not in human form or any form, just a feeling of spiritual nature all around. I also felt the sense of extraordinary peace, not one concern or fear. There are no words invented to describe the pure joy still brings a tear. Question. Do you have any psychic, non-ordinary, or other special gifts after your experience that you did not have before the experience? Answer. Yes. 
I know where lost things are. I get a sense of warmth. Many people now ask for my help to find things. I also work in a counseling field at times and just seem to know the inner problems of people. Question, are there one or several parts of your experience that are especially meaningful or significant to you? Answer, the voice and the light. Question, have you sh ever shared this experience with others? Answer, yes, I told people straight. People already thought I was a bit out there, so this wouldn't really matter. But the doctors were interested, as they said, there is no medical explanation as to why you are alive. It's a miracle. I tried to explain it had nothing to do with them or my positive attitude. It was all part of the plan. They asked if my records could be used for reference material by trainees and researchers. Question. Did you have any knowledge of near-death experiences prior to your experience? Answer. No. Question. What did you believe about the reality of your experience shortly after it happened? Answer. It was definitely real. It just happened. You can't make up these stories and remember with exact words, etc. For over 18 years, you have nothing to gain. And besides, who cares if no one believes you? You have nothing to prove. In fact, you know you have a special knowledge and you are privileged. For there is a lot less confusion about the purpose of life. Question. What do you believe about the real reality of your experience now? Answer. Experience was definitely real. Same as above. The best thing that ever happened. When my father was dying 10 years later of cancer, I kept trying to explain, not to be fearful. All will be beautiful. Be thankful for our life on earth, but things will even be better beyond. No, that may sound weird, but it is true. It made it easier for me to grieve, too. Question. At any time in your life, has anything ever reproduced any part of the experience? Answer, no. End quote. End questions. What a great experience uh, that she talks about and tells us about here. And I find, well, wait a minute. There might be a couple other uh, more uh, questions. Yes, I think there is one. Let's see. Looks like she puts the experience down just a bit more. And we're going to uh, skip over the first part about the reason and just read the second, last two paragraphs because they might give us a little bit more, um, I don't know, details. So open quote on the second uh, round of her description, which some people do. What I distinctly remember to this very day is firstly a flashing of beautiful scenes fields, oceans, dolphins, horses, and everything racing. Then suddenly I left the earth as such, entering into a tunnel spiraling upward, not vertically upward, at a lean of 30 degrees, say. There was this intense light at the end, and then when I exited into the light, there was this enormous, overwhelming sense of peace, love, warmth, security, I was at home at last, exclamation mark. The light was intensely white, but it was not harming my vision. But there again, there was not really anything to see, so to speak, but rather more a sense of feeling. I could sense the entities there welcoming, the pleasure, the peace, the happiness, and utmost relief to be back. But then there was this voice, clear, kind, Deliberate, never to be questioned, omnipotent. It simply said these very words. You must go back. You have more lessons to teach. I remember what seemed a nanosecond of disappointment, but more so acknowledgement of my duty to fulfill part of the plan. It certainly was not a reward. Then I awoke. I was confused. I was complacent and tried to tell one and all what had happened. I thought it was strange that I was sent back. Not for the sake of family, etc. It was a definite purpose, and I knew the teaching was not grade school, but something different. And that is how my life has been since. Something different. <laughs> and that's the end of the quote for the 
the narrative, but there's some uh, more questions that were answered here. So let's see if there's anything new. Question, did you feel separated from your body? Answer, the body is of no real use. It was of no importance to me. I was not conscious of it being there or not being there. I was just a spirit, the only important part of existence. Question, uh, comparing your consciousness. Answer, I felt and know it really happened. I was alert. Question, did time seem to speed up or slow down? Answer, it was more a sense of no time and definitely a different level of space. The quote-unquote higher planes, I now call them. Question, did you seem to enter some other unearthly world? Answer, this level slash dimension at the end of the tunnel that was home. It was very peaceful and beautiful. Question, did you suddenly seem to understand everything? Answer, we all have purposes to fulfill and we obey that order. If we try to intervene, we will only have to start all over again and it could be a more difficult journey next time. Question, did scenes from your past come back to you? Answer, there were lots of visions of life on earth in general and lots of events and people I knew, but didn't seem to be much of any order. I learned a lot, but I don't relate this to a review of life past events. It had more to do with the peacefulness at the end, the finding a purpose slash duty of life, not fearing death, etc. Question, did you have a change in your values and beliefs because of your experience? Answer, yes, 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 yes. No longer fearful of death. No longer contemplate suicidal thoughts, knowing this interferes with the plan. Not as materialistic. Gave away many, many superfluous household items. Became minimalistic. More interested in karma and Buddhism. Question, was the experience difficult to express in words? Answer, yes. Describing the brightness of the light, yet still able to see the entities, the clear message of the voice, but that it was not from a person as we people on earth imagine a being. Question, do you have any psychic, non-ordinary, or other special gifts after your experience that you did not have before the experience? Answer, uncertain. I had always been able to sense things and find lost things, which I thought was eerie, but now I take it for granted. Example, we all probably have this ability, but just don't bother to fine tune it. Question, are there one or several parts of your experience that are especially meaningful or significant to you? Answer, best bit was the peace and happiness of being there. Worst bit was having to return. Question, have you ever shared this experience with others? Answer, yes, plenty of times. People have showed interest, but at times are skeptical and questioning. But I feel it is only something really believable if you experience this. Perhaps I need to remind one and all of the saying, for those who believe no proof is necessary, for those who don't know, proof is possible. Maybe that's impossible. I don't know. (laughs) That's me. Uh, uh, Continuing with that quote. Oh, and I did remind my dad as he was dying in 2001 not to be afraid, etc. I hope that this relieved him a bit. I didn't feel so devastated when my father died. Just miss his company. As I knew, he would be peaceful at last. Question, is there anything else you would like to add about your experience? Answer, glad at last to put it down in writing. In quote, in questions, interesting that she was told to go back and teach. So maybe she already knew something. You think her belief in a golden rule, karma type, uh, was any part of that? And people already called her odd. <laughs> I don't know. It was a great story, though. And now she's teaching at uh, some island. That's pretty cool. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.